win total for this season with uh, new coach Matt Rule, new offensive coordinator Joe Brady. Six is their win total. That is the lowest in the NFC South. They needed defensive line help, safety help, and cornerback help. We understand that is for this season. Let's go ahead and discuss exactly what they drafted this year. And they are the first team in quite some time to take nothing but defensive players in the draft. Now, they they had seven picks. That's it. They had two second-rounders, no third-rounders, but then they had a pick in the first, in the fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. So, let's uh, let's just kind of run them down right quick, and then we'll see what happens. They got defensive lineman Derek Brown out of Auburn. They got edge rusher Yeter Gross-Matos out of Penn State. They got safety Jeremy Chen out of Southern Illinois. They got cornerback Troy Pride Jr. out of Notre Dame. Safety Kenny Robinson out of West Virginia. Defensive lineman Bravion Roy out of Baylor, and then cornerback Stantley Thomas Oliver out of Florida International. All defensive guys. Um, Derek Brown, I will say, I we were fans of this pick early on, and, and I thought, even I thought today, he, like I think we're gonna look back in three years or five years, he could be the best defensive player to come out of this draft. Yeah. I think defensive linemen have a chance to make a bigger impact on the game early in their career than almost any other position, you know? Like, safety might be a close second to that because I think safety can uh, can kind of change the way that the game is played. But, I mean, you you got you got a defensive lineman, you got an edge rusher in Yuter Gross Matos at number 38 in the second round uh, out of Penn State who, you know, some people were questionable about his measurables and blah, blah, blah. Look, the guy produced at Penn State, like we'll, we'll see what happens at, at the NFL level. But I, I got faith in him. And then safety Jeremy Chin, I mean, that, it comes out a a long line of NFL, you know, legacy. Uh, let's see, what is a uh, Pro Football Focus? Yeter Gross Meadows, uh, while his grade did not or did improve every year of his career at Penn State, Gross Meadows never had high end production at the collegiate level. He finished the 2019 season ranked 32nd among qualifying edge defenders. In overall grade, that was 84.7. There's an awkwardness in the way Gross Matos rushes the passer that is tough to ignore. His lack of dominance, despite dominant tools, gives us pause. And then they said they uh, they traded picks number 69 and 148 to move up to 64 to draft former SIU safety Jeremy Chin. Chin has peak athletic tools for the safety position, but he's far more athlete than football player at this point. Carolina has that defined box role, so he'd be the best box safety in that defense. If you're banking on him... Ba- uh, being a box safety, well, they had some typos in this. Uh, I'm not sure he's necessarily your guy. I don't think he brings it to the table. I was hesitant on him because of the competition he played at Southern Illinois, and that tentativeness at the position, a guy that plays below his athletic traits, is worrisome. I look at this differently than PFF does. Uh, that is all that that Matt Rule has done for years, is draft athletes and teach them to play the way that he wants them to play. So, yep. if you got a fantastic athlete, you teach him to do what you want him to do. This is the Bill Belichick way of going about it. Um, let's see. <laughs> Hold on. I, I got to get caught up on the uh, on the quotes. Hold on. Uh, or not quotes. Sorry. The, uh, the chat. Tim Crosby said, how does crab leg get better in uh, New Orleans? We've already been over the Jameis stuff. We'll talk about Jameis again before the season. I, I promise. Uh, McKinnon said, I don't know how no one tried picking up Nick Coe from Auburn in the draft. I believe he signed as an undrafted free agent. But damn, I think he's gonna he's good to be undrafted. There were a lot of really good undrafted players. This was a a very deep draft. Okay. Yep. Um Michael said favorite pick was Jeremy Chen. Atwater's nephew wanted him to wear number 27 for Denver. Yeah, when you got other NFL teams that wanted the player, you drafted the right guy. Like he's an athlete. He might not have shown a whole lot at Southern Illinois, but I mean, would anybody have watched? Would anybody have seen what he did at Southern? I mean, he's an athlete. Like he's a period an athlete. And then Tim said, you both loved Rule in college. I hope he sucks in the pros. Um, <laughs> but that's coming from a Bucks fan. Uh, McKinnon said, I love the Panthers draft. I really do. They don't have any major needs on offense. And they took exactly what they wanted and needed hard to beat that kind of draft. Yeah, they took all defensive guys. They needed a ton of help on defense. I mean, if you look at their needs, defensive line, safety, and cornerback, they needed defense. So they went and they drafted defense. That's the yep. smart way to go about it. And what I was saying about Rule... Tim, the reason why we loved Matt Rule in college is he could take athletes. He he found guys that fit a certain specific measurable that he wanted, 
and he brought them in, and then he developed them. He taught them to play the position that he wanted them to play and that they would be most successful at, and I think he's going to be able to do the same thing in Carolina. Jeremy Chin in the third round, he is an incredible athlete. He may not have shown a whole lot at the safety position at, at Southern Illinois, but as a box safety, he could be incredible. And I think you can do Now, he may not be the first year, obviously, but he's a third-round pick. Who gives a shit right now? Like, it, you're developing him over, over the years. I think this is a fantastic draft by the Carolina Panthers. I Like, I like what they did here. Um, I mean, obviously, you got some flyers that you took, you know, late in this, around 5, 6, 7. But you, you got guys. You got athletes that you can teach to play the way that you want them to play. And I, I think that's what Bill Belichick does, right? Yep. Yeah, no, I, I, he made it clear. In, if you watch the draft, he said, we addressed everything on offense in free agency, which means we had to use draft capital on defense. And he, he made it clear. We got to hit on some of these guys. It's not, it's not a hundred percent. It's not as secure as signing a free agent who you've seen be proven at it, but it doesn't cost you nearly as much. And, uh, and so, you know, it's smart move. He, he needed defense. He went all defense and, uh, they're going to bring him in and they're going to work him out and they're going to see what they can do. I trust this coaching staff to be able to develop the I players that they've got. That's I I mean, too. period. And I mean, obviously we'll see it's a different level when you get to the NFL as opposed to in college football. Uh, but in college you're taking kids from, you know, high school and, and teaching them to be men at the same time that you're trying to teach them to be, you know, football players it's a little bit different, but I, I like what they did. I, I like this. I like this draft. Like I, that. That's the fun part about not having to like put a letter grade on it. I can just tell you if I liked it or not. Tim jumps in with the yeah. thumbs up. Thumbs up, Tim. We appreciate that. Um, yeah, I, I like this. I, you know, it fifty percent. You know, one way or the other. I, I'm going over fifty percent. I like the uh, the Panthers draft, even if it was well, all defense. And he, players. here's the thing I like about. Going all defense in today's world in the draft, I wonder, do they think there's market inefficiencies? I fully believe that the draft, offensive players do get overdrafted because they're flashy and they've got the names that everybody wants and needs. It, th there's no reason that Brown should have been sitting there. There's just okay. not. But quarterbacks are too valuable. Um, you know, offensive linemen in this draft are too – like. It's just, it's not a sexy position, and he should have been taken second or third in this draft, and that's just, that's just the truth. Yeah. Um, but, but I, I think, I think you find more market inefficiencies drafting defensive players than you do offensive players because less defensive players get drafted. Yeah, that's hundred percent true. Hundred percent true. Last up, we've got. The